Let's talk all about Brazilian artist Romero Brito. Romero Brito is an artist who creates bright, colorful paintings. Let's take a closer look at some of his paintings. When we look at his paintings, we see they are full of bold patterns, flat shapes, and bright colors. His paintings show anything from animals, people, flowers, and famous characters. Something else I notice about his paintings are his use of thick black lines that he uses to outline the shapes and lines in his work. Notice how those lines make different spaces for his patterns to fill in. Let's take a look at another one. Here, again, he's using really thick, black, bold lines to break up the space and create different spaces for new patterns. Let's look at a few more. Here is a flower that shows different patterns inside the petals. Here is a picture of the artist himself, Romero Brito. One of my favorite things he paints are his hearts. His heart paintings are bright and cheerful and are meant to make the viewer feel happy and hopeful. Today, we're going to create our own cheerful and colorful hearts inspired by Romero Brito. All right, I'm jumping right on in with Sharpie and I'm going to start with the heart shape. Don't worry about trying to make the heart perfect. Romero Brito's hearts aren't perfect, so I am not worried at all about trying to make my heart look perfect. All I'm worried about is creating those really thick, bold black lines with my Sharpie marker. So I'm starting out with my big, thick Sharpie, and I'm going to outline again around that heart shape and fill in that space to create a really nice, thick, bold black line. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Fill it in with the Sharpie to make it nice and thick and black and bold. There we go. Now I'm going to start adding some lines to break up the space and give my heart some more spaces to add patterns inside later on, just like Romero Brito. So I'm going to draw one line and then another line that kind of crosses over. And I'm thinking, hmm, I'm gonna draw another one that maybe goes right down here and then across like that. And again, I'm doing a double line because I want it to be really, really thick. Hmm, I think maybe one more line right here. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm ready to start adding lines in the background because again, we need lots and lots of thick black lines to create different spaces to add patterns later on. You can use straight lines if you want or curved lines if you want or a combination of both, that's up to you. filling in the entire background with black lines so that I have lots of space to add colorful patterns. All right, there we go. I think I'm ready now to start adding in some patterns. I'm going to first add the lines with my Sharpie and then I'm going to color them in later with markers. This part is probably my favorite part because it's really going to give your artwork some character depending on whatever shapes you want. Your shapes don't have to match my shapes. You can use your own artist imagination to think up your own shapes to create your own wonderful original work of art. So I'm just thinking about all the different shapes that I know in my mind, circles, uh, squares, maybe some lines, maybe some stars or some hearts. It's totally up to you what shapes and lines you add to your work of art. All right, I'm finished filling in the spaces inside the heart and now I'm going to move on to the background. And again, I'm just using my imagination to think of all the different lines and shapes that I know that I could add to my background. Some wiggly lines, maybe some curved lines. Hmm, let's see, how about we add some some zigzag lines. I didn't use any zigzag lines yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And I'm also repeating some of those patterns in different spaces. This is going to give my artwork some balance. All right, I've got two more spaces that I didn't fill in yet. Let's see, I think I will just fill in with some more circles. And that's looking pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm ready to start coloring. 
To color your artwork, you can use whatever you have available. If you are in the art room, we're going to be using markers, but if you are at home, you can use crayons or markers or colored pencils or even paint. Whatever you have available at home is fine. So all I did was I kind of just used as many different colors as I wanted to and filled in the entire picture. Notice there is no white space left behind. Romero Brito's paintings were completely filled with bright, beautiful, cheerful colors. So that's what I did for mine and that is what you should try to do for yours. I cannot wait to see your Romero Brito hearts when they are finished.